great people great people freedom fighters lovers of freedom are great people i am back again today you see uh there is something i want to tell our people today this is a very quick message i'm not going to take much of your time but i'm bringing you things that is happening in that contraption called Daminibu zoo nigeria you know some of us don't seem to understand what is going on I want you people to understand that what is going on in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo, Nigeria, and what the Fulanese have planned against the indigenous people find themselves in that Nigeria. You see, it's not all about Christian, Muslim. It's not all about religion. This is all about ethnic cleansing. This is all about taking over the conquest is all about the fallen conquest you see i'm going to shock you, every one of you today and you're going to listen to this voice and then you will begin to understand that every indigenous people that find themselves in that contraption are in big mess this is not about you see all these killings that you are seeing in northern kaduna in southern kaduna or rampaging all the whole, uh, um, uh, all the whole um, communities in that contraption. It's all about the conquest. But some people we keep on pushing is that it's a it's a religion problem. That is, it's all about religion. This is not about re This is all about taking over. They want to take over. They want to make Nigeria the headquarter of terrorism. And I keep on telling people. People don't seem to understand. They will say that I like to talk, I like to shout, or I like to, you know, trying to expose myself. That is not the reason why we're here. I'm always here to let our people understand things that are about to come. So that you will not say that nobody told you. You will not say that it's not heard it from anybody. I am the Bia franchise in Mazo Kichuku, the general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. Now I want us to listen to this voice note from Aousa person. This is now from Aousa person. You know, it's very good that we understand and pay very big attentively on this voice that we are going to hear now. It's going to help a lot of our people. It's going to give us a sense of what is about to come and what is happening today in that zoo called Nigeria. Now I want you to listen to our person and hear what he will say or what he has said. Then you begin to use your tongue to count your teeth. Now let us pay attention. Listen now. Good evening, my dear Nigerians and the international community. Now I want to address Nigerians and the international community about the, the current happenings in northern Nigeria, although it's not only northern Nigeria, it's the entire country, but most particularly northern Nigeria. And I want to address the indigenous Nigerians and the Hausa people, particularly in Nigeria. You know, we, we need to rise up. We need to open our eyes. The Fulanis are moving all villages, killing people, rampaging communities. You know, they have no respect for religion. Fulani man has no respect, whether you are a, a Muslim or you are a Christian. I myself that, that is addressing you, I'm a Hausa person. A Muslim? These people have no regard for religion. Are you listening? If you are thinking it's about religion, you better open your eyes. The, the indigenous people in this country and the Hausa people need to rise up and open their eyes. Are you listening? This is not about religion. It's about ethnic cleansing. Now the Fulani people want to eliminate the indigenous Nigerians. Now, in my local government, your local government of Kaduna State, okay. it's a local government that is that is 99% Hausa people, Hausa people by tribe. But as I'm talking to you, over four days now, the Fulani militias have killed over 200 persons. And I'm, mm -hmm. among them include my own relations. They have burnt houses, they have, they have destroyed boats, 
Christians and Muslims. So it is high time for particularly the indigenous northern houses to unite themselves against this onslaught. If those that are in position of authority, if you think this is about religion, then you are you are still sleeping. This is not about religion. This is about ethnic cleansing. They are trying to eliminate the indigenous, you know, Nigerians, the indigenous northerners, and take over their lands. This is about land grabbing. Land I'm telling grabbing. you, in Zambon Tamal community in Jua local government, which yeah, comprises of over sixty to seventy villages, cluster of villages. There have been over over so far now over hundred people have been killed, Hombre. houses burnt, yes. their cows, their cattle that they use for, you know, farming, for construction of ridges and all that, they have been, they have been scattered away, you know, their, their, their houses, their cars, all their properties, as I'm talking to you right now, they have left their communities, they have run away to other, other places, the bushes, and, and even some of them have, have moved towards uh, Zaria. How can you expect, uh, you know, a farmer to, to move into the city, to do what? To do what for God's sake? It is high time for Nigerians to wake up. It is high time for the houses to wake up. The woman is uh, uh, blindfolding our eyes, the houses. I'm a house person and I'm talking with passion. The pillar, the Fulanis have used religion to blindfold us, to think that it is about religion. No, it is not about religion. It is about ethnic cleansing. It's high time for the houses. Thank God, you know, this this uh, you know this this broadcast I believe it is going to be pushed. You know, into the, 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 the group that comprises of all the houses, the indigenous houses, and with the effort making to, to unite the houses, you know, to rise up against this, this onslaught. So I want you to understand this is, is not about religion. It's not about religion. It's about ethnic cleansing. The same thing that is happening in, in southern Kaduna, where the indigenous southern Kaduna are being eliminated by the Fulanis. The same thing is also happening in northern Kaduna, where there are purely houses. So it's not about religion. If you heard that people are being butchered in southern Kaduna, houses, communities, burnt, and you are happy and you think it's about Christians. Now you better open your eyes. It's not about Christians. I'm a house person. Our dual local government, which is in northern Kaduna, you know, many parts of, uh, you know, Katsina, Zampara have been, many people have been eliminated. Now I want you to know right now, as I'm talking to you, uh, you know, someone in my own community. And, and, and Kaya, you know, the, the, there are villages, over 100 villages in that axis. It, you know, it, it belongs to the, the you know, the, the, the western part of uh, your local government. Of course, just to mention, just uh, about a few months ago, the house of, uh, the person representing us at the state level now, okay. the state house of assembly was killed by the bandits. Are you listening? So, and this man too is a house person, is a Muslim. So it's not about religion. I want you to understand that this is not about religion. It's about ethnic cleansing. Please. Right now, as I'm talking right now, this evening, they have started operation from about um, 5 p.m. up to this time that I'm talking to you right now. The Fulani militias are still there operating, killing people, burning houses, you know, raping our women, kidnapping those that they can kidnap. This, and not this, enough. this is not just kidnapping, it's, it's even more than kidnapping. This is an invasion. Now, I want you to know that the local government is one of the major, uh, you know, agricultural community in Nigeria. Giwa alone can feed the entire Nigeria. Now, Giwa market, for instance, Giwa grain market is one of the largest, you know, grain market in Nigeria. So, if the African of Giwa local government are chased away by the bandits, now that will have multiply effect. That will have negative consequences, not just on the on the livelihood of the people, the inhabitants of your local government, but the entire economy of of of, of Kaduna State and the entire community, I mean, economy of Nigeria. Farmers are living, are running. Farmers are coming to the city. What will they come to the city and do? What will they eat? So it's high time for those in authority. Now, if you are hearing me and you are in authority, you have a say, and you, if you keep quiet because you don't want to die, you will eventually die. Of course. You will eventually die, of whether course. you like it or not. Know, whether you like it or not. The, the governorship aspirant, you know, from Katsina that was killed by the bandits some couple of months ago on his way from, you know, Katsina to Abuja, I mean, to Abuja on the Kaduna Abuja road. Did he, did he knew that he was going to be killed? No. So if you think you are in position and you don't want to talk so that you will not be killed, you will still be killed. Of course. We that have chosen to come out and talk we will still be alive. I know there is no devil in heaven and another can eliminate my life. So I if you will come out and talk and, and uh, you know get what is supposed to be done you know to be done, it's better for you to rise up and talk. 
you know, I've spoken to many military, I mean, those in the military sector, they have complained to me of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of logistic issues, which is affecting their operations. All this is not worth it. And I, and, and I want to assure you that, uh, you know, this is a conspiracy. This is a, a serious conspiracy. Why? Because, you know, on the 24th of March, which is on Thursday that the kidnappers started this operation, the network of the entire axis of uh, western part of uh, 24th you know, of well, March. That's only my own. This year. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, they couldn't even call to, for, for help at the, at the right time because the network has ceased. So what does that mean? That means this is a, it's a, it's a conspiracy. Purji, the head of kidnappers, uh, you know, who, who is resident in Zampara, has came out on the social media, has claimed responsibility for, me, for, for, for hundreds of lives, you know, that have been killed, and yet nothing has been done to him. No. Which kind of, which kind of uh, you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, go, governless country are we in? Life in Nigeria, in northern Nigeria, particularly, most especially in Jua local government, is becoming poor, brutish, nasty, and short. Life is becoming uncertain. Which kind of situation is this? I am calling on well-meaning individuals who can speak, whose voice can be heard, to rise up and speak against this evil. This is evil, and this evil will consume everyone eventually if we keep quiet. If you think you are in the city, if you think where you are is saved, and therefore you will keep quiet. I'm telling you, a time will come. Even those in the city will not be spared. You know, for some, for some, for about some months ago, you know, Zaria, which is a city, uh, I mean, the, I mean the, the, the second largest city in Kaduna State, after the main, you know, you know Kaduna, Kaduna City, you know, uh, has experienced a lot of, uh, you know, kidnappers attempts and, and all that. So don't say you are in the city and you will keep quiet. And even if you think you are saved, what about your relations? What about your relations that are in the villages? So let's come out and talk against this. Evil and not just talk but act against this evil. Those that have access to President Buhari should speak to him. Those that have access to, you know, Governor Erifai should speak to him. Those that have access to other state governors, those that have access to head of various security apparatus in Nigeria, they should speak. These bandits are human beings. They are not spirits. They are, they are human beings like you and I. If there is effort, they can be stopped. They can be stopped. Nigerian military is more than equipped to face them and destroy and annihilate them. These people, they are not animal, they, they are not a civil spirit. They are people that are known. Where they are located is known. So why not Nigerian security? Reinforce both the land army, uh, you know, and the air force should reinforce and face them and clear them. If we refuse to act, this evil will consume every one of us. So I want to call particularly on the houses, the indigenous houses, to rise up. I know that Fulanis have deceived the houses. They have, they have taken over the, the northern Nigeria, even though they constitute the minority in terms of population, but in terms of the politics of northern Nigeria, it's Fulanis. In terms of the traditional relationship of northern Nigeria, it's Fulanis. Fulanis. In terms of every every position, every authority, Fulanis about your power. So it's becoming difficult for the government to address Fulanis. this. Because those that should address it, they are the ones, they, 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 they are the ones they feel that it is their brethren, it is their, their kinsmen. Buhari is a Fulani. You know, uh, uh, Governor Kaduna State Elfa is Fulani. And most of the northern governors are Fulanis. So that has made this evil to continue. You know, you know, you know. Therefore, I want to call on the indigenous people of Nigeria. The indigenous houses in northern Nigeria and other minority tribes to rise up against this evil. If we refuse to rise up, and I also know that there are some Fulanis that are well-meaning Fulanis who are also not happy with this thing, who are also not supporting this evil. I also want you to call on your brethren, to call the attention of your kinsmen, the Fulanis, against this evil, and to expose them. Don't hide them. Don't give them a covering. Expose them. If we collectively put our effort together, if we collectively expose this evil, this evil will stop. This evil will stop. Therefore, please, I want to call on the indigenous Nigerians to gang up against this evil and if you refuse to do that this evil will eventually consume us thank you so much because I believe not only the, 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 the Nigerians, but also the international community. I want the international community to, to come to the aid of Nigeria because Nigeria is under sea yes yes great people as we just finished listening to this voice note this is an Aosa person speaking or just spoke I want you people to understand that something that this guy said, he called Bugari and Erufai. There is no how it can stop. Because these people are those that are funding those terrorists. Now you have heard it. 
ethnic cleansing. This is ethnic cleansing. And the guy mentioned that all the whole senior apparatus, security apparatus, in that contraption, mostly in the northern part of Nigeria, they are all Fulanese. Now you have heard it from him. The guy even though said that the Fulanese have brainwashed the whole house of people. You know, we have been saying this during the time Usman Usman that for you. You know, they come deceive Hausa people and kill all their their kings and now begin to you know to set up what they call Emir. And now they have been taken over. You see, I want you people to understand that this message of this Hausa guy or Hausa man, if the case may be, is an opening eyes. If you have an ear, in one no, we have been saying this. This thing just happened. All those killings that we just heard from him just happened 2022, March 2022. We are not lying. And I will keep on bringing things to our people for them to see. There is no way to escape it. You can never escape it if we did not rise and stand on our ground. Resolute and formidable to challenge all those minorities even though the guy said they are minorities but how can minorities begin to take over the whole security apparatus from beginning to bottom they took over it that is why they told us that they are everywhere now you understand adesh in my place said they will come for you by the time they were done with you, you will tell me who will come out and begin to speak for you. If you don't speak now. Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. Like I said, this message is direct to indigenous people that find themselves in that contraption called Daminebu Zoo. Only disintegration can save that country. Only disintegration can make the indigenous people to live fine. And live as a woman. You see how many people they are killing every day. I will stop here. I don't want to go so much. Great people, good day, and welcome.